All right, Ayanda is out in the Waterberg mountain range, which is in Limpopo for the launch of Tourism Month. So let's cross over to her right now. Ayanda, again, a good morning to you. What have you got from us from Limpopo? Well, a very good morning to you, Leanne. Last night, guests here present at the Euphoria Golf Resort and Hydro Spa were treated to some scrumptious African delicacies. I'm talking the likes of Omnusha or Samp, Mopanuums or Masonja. And it's all in a bid to encourage us to appreciate who we are as South Africans. So domestic tourism was highlighted here. And the minister also unveiled a new strategy, which is a million new experiences are a short left away. Let's delve a little deeper into that now. I'm joined by the Tourism Minister, Mr. Derek Hanukom. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. And a great morning to you, Ayanda. I'm not going to speak more about the lovely food that we enjoyed, but let's speak about its significance at least and touch on domestic tourism and why it's so important. Well, I'm sorry, I prepared myself for a discussion about cuisine. <laughs> I can still taste those Mopani worms, you know. Went down very well. How did you enjoy the Mopani worms? Love the Mopani worms, but I'm v I, was very, I was very biased against them, I must be honest. I love the ostrich and the musho even more. Okay, no, I loved all of it. Um, it's, it's just a good gathering, a great gathering. Lovely morning this morning at the Euphoria, nothing less, Euphoria Golf Course. It means, you know, something special happening in your life. Um, Tourism Month, as you know, Ayanda, is, is uh, a way in which we uh, showcase the, the beautiful offerings, the magnificent offerings of our country, and we encourage people to sample them, to travel, to feel our country, to experience our country, and that's why we have the slogan, you know, a million experiences are just a short left away, and uh, we, we want people to, to do it and to feel it, and it builds our economy, it connects people, it uh, builds social cohesion. It does. There are so many benefits from travel. You know, we just need to plug it and encourage people all the time. And this is what Tourism Month is about. Let's talk a bit more about the economic uh, spin-offs now. Uh, according to figures released last year, 9.4% uh, of our GDP comes from tourism and a good almost 10% um, of employment came from this particular sector. Let's talk about the relationship between tourism and the NDP. Well, you know, my uh, colleague, Minister of Finance, might accuse me if I uh, inflate the figures. 9.4%, I mean, it, it is significant, but that is the, the overall effect on the economy. In other words, the direct impact and the indirect impacts. I should say, though, it's, the, it's a sector with a very significant uh, multiplier effect, if you like, because, you know, you, you're here in a hotel, somebody has made the food, some rental car rental co company has brought you here, uh, there are people preparing food, there are people selling arts and crafts, so it has enormous spin-offs, if you like, and uh, the, the other valuable thing about tourism, the tourism sector, is that it translates into a great number of jobs. It is employment intensive. And so uh, we can say that, especially now, Ayanda, with us struggling in the face of you know, uh, low commodity prices and uh, economic slowdown in China. So the economy is battling. We're battling to get to our 2% mark, let alone the higher mark that we've set for ourselves in the National Development Plan. But the one good thing about tourism is that it's resilient. It's been growing over the last two decades consistently. In fact, it has outstripped other sectors of the economy consistently year after year. So it's not dependent on commodity prices. In fact, Ayanda, we have everything going for us right now. The weak rand is in tourism's favor. South Africa is now a really good value for money proposition. Something that may not be in tourism's favor, and it's been quite a contentious issue for a while, the new visa regulations. Now, I know the focus for today is on domestic tourism, but let's speak a little bit about those international tourists wanting to come to South Africa. And of course, South Africans want to go abroad, the unabridged birth certificates, and uh, President Jacob Zuma weighing in on this, saying a team will be put together to look into the effects of the new regulations. Where are we with that, and what are your sentiments this morning? Yeah, well, uh, Ayana, the good news for you is that you won't need a visa to go to Mapungubwe tomorrow. And you won't need a visa to go to the Kruger National Park. So you're right. I mean, today is, is really focusing on domestic tourism, getting more South Africans to see more of their own country. But uh, in answer to your question, yes, it, it has uh, um, had a, a negative impact on tourism. And this is precisely why the president, in his State of the Nation address, said that he would call together, uh, bring together a group of ministers to examine these unintended consequences, because that's what they were. Um, measures were introduced to combat uh, child trafficking 
and measures were introduced to tighten up our security situation. Unfortunately, these measures have impacted negatively on tourism growth. And that is why we'll be meeting quite soon, convened by the Deputy President, to look at um, other, other ways of, of achieving the same objectives. The objectives are very important. We've just got to look at the best possible way of doing it so that it doesn't have this dampening effect on tourism growth. Indeed, we'll have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, but a, a lot of questions are still remain. Do we have enough disposable income as South Africans to make sure that we do explore uh, this beautiful country of ours? So for you to get those specials that you're looking for, www.shotleft.co.za, and that's where you can find some great deals if your pocket is a little bit short change. Uh, you want to make sure that you can afford. And so go to www.shotleft.co.za. Mr. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Valen is up next.